Launching a Jaspersoft Auto-Scaling Cluster on AWS We'll start on the AWS Marketplace and search for Jaspersoft. We'll then go into the reporting and analytics for AWS Hourly. We'll go ahead and pick our delivery method. As you see, there's several, and what we want to do is launch a Jaspersoft cluster using RDS for metadata. Here we can view a description that explains a little bit more about what will happen. We'll pick a region. In my case, we'll pick US West Oregon. And we'll click Create. What we want to do now is click on Manual Launch. Select the region again. And again, we have to select the deployment option. Although we've already selected that in the previous screen, you'll have to do it twice. You can see the instructions again here. And when you're happy with that, we'll go ahead and launch with the CloudFormation profile. The next thing we do is um, it'll be pre-populated for us, uh, a template URL. If you know what you're doing, you can overwrite that. Here we'll give it a useful name. There's one created for us. Um, we'll just change it to 01. This is only for our own descriptive um, purposes. This is to check if we want multi availability zones and also to check the size of the database. Next, we'll add the user information. Um, this user will not only be the database username and password, it'll be the initial super user password for Jaspersoft as well, so it's important to remember it, at least until you change your super user password on first login. We'll also pick the instance type um, and the key name, which are the security keys. All of this can be changed later, just remember that um, we're setting it up initially now. What we're doing now is adding a IP address. Um, this will control who can access the uh, cluster. Uh, 000 is an insecure setting. We're just doing that for demo purposes. And we've also selected a max instance count of three um, and also selected availability zones. The max instance count is interesting because we could say three, and that'll be a maximum number of instances that are launched. So it'll start with one uh, and go up to three in this case. And then the operator email will give us notifications as well. Here we can add our own tags uh, that'll help us categorize this cluster in AWS. We called it Demo Cluster in this case. And here we have an option to check all the things that we have um, already checked. We acknowledge the uh, configuration settings, hit Launch, and what we'll do now is hit Refresh. This will take some time to create. As you can see now, we're in Create and Process. And what we'll do now is we'll take you through some of the options that you can see at this stage. You can see a log of what's going to be created uh, in the events. That's a pretty important one. Parameters are all the options that we selected earlier. Resources are everything that's going to be created. So you can see there's a security group, elastic load balancer, all kinds of different things that are going to be created for our stack. Finally, we're going to come back and see that um, everything's been created. We even have a getting started URL, which is um, the front end to our cluster, which we can log into. If we click on EC2, we can see running instances, and you can see demo cluster has been initiated, and you can treat it like a regular resource in AWS. Um, at this stage, it's still initializing. We can then see our load balancers. And here we have the load balancer that was created for us. We can also see the auto scaling groups. Um, you can see that there's one instance running right now and that there's a max of three. 
you can see the scaling policies which in our case um, by default is that the CPU utilization has been um, has breached a certain point and you can change that yourself if you'd like and now you can see the the running instances themselves that actually house JasperSoft then when we click over to RDS we can see our repository database and we can see that um, an instance of Postgres was launched for us and we can see um, some information regarding it Finally, when we click on Cloud Formation, we can now get our Getting Started URL. We'll go ahead and register for the free support and for JasperSoft Studio. And we can go ahead and get started by logging into JasperSoft. It's going to ask us to change our password. Uh, remember, the password is the first one that we set. And we can go ahead and run a dashboard here. Um, so that's it. Uh, that's starting a auto-scaling JasperSoft cluster on AWS. So head over to the Amazon Marketplace to launch your cluster right now. Thanks a lot for watching.